And is you have to buy a second machine to finish the countertop mm -hmm. for my competition. And so our solution is, this is a very simple decision. The machine does the whole thing start to finish, number one, in the same day. So it's easy to measure production in a way that's never happened before. Mm -hmm. Any kind of job, start to finish, whatever slab you're gonna cut that day, that's what, that's what gets finished. Yeah. When you do our methodology, which is the hybrid cycle, which has never existed before. There's never been a machine to produce that kind of square footage with one operator and one shift ever. We have our customers that are getting 275 to 400, north of 400 square feet in one shift with one operator, cut and fabricated, the whole thing finished. It's done, one machine. So nothing like that has ever been never. done before. You've revolutionized yeah. this approach. And never uh, it's been done that high square feet per one machine with one single process. And that's your process. Yeah, that's the a hybrid cycle. That's a trademark process. It's a trademark patent. We have 12 patents. And so what has been done, which people get confused with, is they've done what are called fab centers, which is simply a machine that does the process divided into two steps like you would between two machines, mm -hmm. but it's extremely inefficient. So yours they is actually, frictionless. They actually advertise 110 square feet per ship. So people don't even bother buying that machine. And the proof in that that machine is inefficient is the fact that the majority of all shops in America don't even have that type of machine, which is called a fab center. So basically what you've, what you've done, you took a process, whatever, eight steps, condensed that into two, two three steps. Yeah. Yeah. Two and three, and three steps. And basically, you made those shops more, more profitable. Way more profitable. Way more profitable. Way more profitable. And you don't even have to take our word for it. There's, there's, the shops are in existence. There's over, uh, right now, 50 companies in the United States that are ex executing the hybrid cycle every day. Um, you know, there's, this is already happening. This is not a what if or a theory. This is already happening. We've we've taken away what is the um, we've bought back and removed the, the type of machine which is the standard or had become the standard yeah. before us, which is called a sawjet. We've taken it out of shops. Those shops will never go back. They don't miss it. They don't need it. They're way more efficient. I mean, imagine why would you want to do more work? You're cutting stuff, taking the pieces off. You have more incidents and chance to break things to misposition them in a new machine it's safer to way have safer more redo. Right? It's and less. it's way safer because it's less handling by laborers less liability there's less real estate also you're tying up in the shop because you don't have what are called work in progress cards i mean there's a thousand benefits you know there's a thousand reasons but but plain and simple this is manufacturing rules on efficiency 101 the process that has the least amount of movements and steps to move raw materials around is going to be the least efficient, is the most efficient, the least headache, and the most profitable. And that's what this is. This is that's, you one you slab. Li you live it. You breathe it. It happens every day. It's. Uh, it happens every day. It's still that's funny. all. Like I've noticed. Like I know you're very knowledgeable, very very broad as well. Like you can. You can, you're very like your general knowledge is really really strong. You can talk about many different things, you know, and um, but where I'm going, well, like you're you're so passionate about the stone industry, which is from the from the outside, it kind of it's kind of boring, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. But you make it like you're the guy who makes it just so much. Like even the guys that I met, you know, some of the customers, like they're kind of. I'm, I'm Polish. I can say that they're kind of you know stiff you know yeah. but you you're able to kind of i mean it's a little bit of a boring industry right it, it, it is yeah it, it doesn't get it doesn't get the merit that it does because you're talking about countertops yeah a, an inanimate object that goes on top of cabinets yeah right if you simplify it like that however i like to look at it differently like we're the modern stone craftsmen yeah like back in the day you had sculptors you have all these great civilizations make all of these structures out of stone which is another topic for our podcast, right? That we brought 
the guys from Ancient Aliens TV show on our, on our podcast. But I like to romanticize it a little more. We're the modern day stone working guys. Stone is forever. It's a, it's a product from the earth. It's, it's the closest that we have to figuring out how we came about on this planet. What's man's mission, this creation? How do we, why do we choose stone? Why are we attracted to stone? Everybody loves stone. I mean, if somebody's yeah. going to get their house done and they have money and they can afford it, they're getting stone everywhere, right? That's right. I want to get the nicest stone. Let me look at the most beautiful stone. Let me get the stone on the fireplace. Let me get the stone in the bathroom, on the walls, in the ceiling. And there's That's a right. reason. There's a reason for that. Um, unfortunately, it's not a mo- very glamorous industry, but I like to bring some because I, I do feel also as an entrepreneur, like I, I analyze myself, like this isn't this is a difficult industry manufacturing. I have to give props to all the guys that are in the stone industry. It's, they pick the hardest thing to do, which is manufacturing, and it's not. It's literally, literally the hardest. It's literally the hardest, right? Right, especially with quartzite and other hard materials. But um, it's the hardest industry to be in, and we're not sitting here. Oh, you have to buy my machine. You have to buy my machine because people, they, you know, they they might misinterpret people that are selling machines. Before it was what we are doing. Before, like, if I was selling the old machinery. Because the old machinery, it, it's, it's part of an old process that is inefficient and not profitable. It's very, very cumbersome to run split processes and manufacturing countertops. It's not about that we're against our competitors in this, in this way. It's just that we're bringing a solution that is literally going to revolutionize the life of a stone fabricator. That It's already happening. Wow. They have... Half the amount of machinery. You see the impact. Half on the, the amount of the guys that we're change. passionate about it because our own customers are reaching profitabilities that we can show them on paper that have never been done before for X amount of square feet. We have customers that are doing a thousand square feet in one day with three machines. Yeah. Our competitors to do a thousand square feet, even if it's very simple jobs, they need way more personnel, way more machinery, all of this expense and movement and traffic and what have you why do you want to work so hard we're trying to make your life easier so what do you say to the skeptics you know because i know it's all beautiful when i when i before i met met you you know i look on the internet and i'm like i don't know this guy who's this like overconfident you know kind of buffoon in a way oh look at our machine look at our process the best you know uh, you should have cyber cycle, go from eight steps to three steps. You should have Poseidon, you know, T-Rex is all that. And you just pound on the, you know, on the ground. And you just go to all those, uh, you know, stone fabricators around the country. And yeah. and then I know well, then I then I meet you in person. And then it's like this very personal guy, but very overconfident. I'm like, who is this guy? You know, like, so, so why you? Like, why should... You know, like, why, why should they be like, you know, oh, well, okay, I'm, we're going to go with, with those guys. Well, the reason that we were, I think that we were able to come up with this is because what our competitors haven't done. So they can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'd be willing to bet a million dollars. My competitors, all of them, they know who they are in the United States or in Italy. None of them have walked the path that me and my engineers that are amazing people that are still with me today, that have been with me since I was 21 years old, they're still with me today and I'm more than 35 years old. (laughs) Closer like 60. (laughs) So they, um, the guys that have been with me, we walked the path where we put our hands on every single piece of machinery in the industry. You're very caring. Yeah, but we, we actually did something that nobody else did in this industry, in the history of the stone industry. Me and my team, we took every brand of CNC router, Italian or American. And in those years from 2009 to 2014, we repurposed them. We sold them with installation, warranty and training. And we have hundreds of witnesses and people that can attest to that. And we took this brand. It's like. You took 
I'll just say the names. I took Bretons, Frusciani's, Brimbana's, Intermax, Bimatex, Northwoods, Parks, you name it. Every brand of machinery, we put it in somebody's shop and we installed it and we trained them on it, which gave us the knowledge where we learned and we looked under everybody's hood. We saw the good and the bad of how they built everything. Yeah. And then we took that information and we made the line of Poseidon machinery. That's how Poseidon started. So I, I, I don't think that there's anybody else that has that experience that can say that they put the, cat, the a CAD cam, their own CAD cam on every brand of machinery, installed it, trained it, even improved it. Because sometimes we would switch out parts on the machines and improve them. And a lot of those customers, they came back and they became Poseidon customers. When they saw what we were doing, they said, can we, will you buy back my old, the old used machine from a yeah. different brand that you sold me? And, and I did that. And so, they love the, like, if you've never had the, 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 the Poseidon, Joe Alva, whatever you want to call the experience, I think it's the Joe Alva Poseidon experience. Like, you have to have it. What do you mean? The van is, you know, oh, we're, we're up, just right going after this to, podcast, uh, we're getting into the van. Going we're out going, to have a nice experience. We're, and go, we're, we're share, going for share another. Share our stories and we're go going out for to dinner. dinner and, and, yeah. um, so, so, Joe. Going into 20, uh, 2026, what are, what are your plans other than, I know you're on the podcast all the time on social media, you're going to events, going to clients, we're going to Vegas together? Yes, we have a really cool thing happening in Vegas uh, this year where we're deciding to make something a little interesting and educational for everybody. Because like you said, it's just us on social media pounding, pounding, pounding. Let's get an open discussion to talk about it. This is a small industry. Everybody knows each other. Everybody uh, knows what they're doing in the traditional fabrication style. I think that people need more clarity on how the, what we're doing works. There's a lot of questions. And so we're making a very friendly event at the Thai show where on two days for a few hours each day, we're going to have some open time slots and we're going to call for a discussion or a debate, if you want to call it, where we're going to invite cordially people from the industry, from our competitors, uh, CEOs, if they want, or anybody from their executive team. They're like, hey, let's, team, let's talk, let's chat. engineers, whoever they think is the most educated to represent them, to speak on, talk to me about the traditional fabrication process. So you're an open why, book. And why your machinery would be more efficient than our solution. Yeah. Because what is happening right now behind the scenes is that, you know, there's n nobody's really asking us directly. They're asking their, our competitors. They that, don't know. That they of don't course, know. they have relationships with, which is natural because these guys, and I understand there's relationships there that are years, right? Like you didn't go with us because we weren't, you weren't around. Yeah. And you've been in the business 25 years. So you're going to trust the person that's been supplying your business which is, a, you know, they're the backbone of your business. Of course, you're going to trust them, which is totally natural. But unfortunately, they're not the most informed on what the new technology is. And you're going to go and ask them, hey, what about these Poseidon guys? Yeah. And they're going to give you their best opinion. And they're going to look for the, uh, you know, possible negative feedback that they're going to find on social media. And, you know, every single company has negative feedback on social media. So, um I say, let's be an open book. Let's, let's speak about your uh, viewpoints. Let's talk for the best, for the best solution, you know, for the betterment, the, the improvement of the industry. We are extremely confident. We have a lot of data that nobody has. We know for a fact that our solution is the most efficient. It's not that our machine is better, all these machines that our competitors make are good for what they do in the traditional fabrication model. But we're not doing split processes. We're doing a single process, which is the hybrid cycle. And we know for a fact that there is no more efficient way to fabricate countertops in the world on this planet with the current laws of physics that we all are using at all. There's no way to, there's no way to do kitchens faster. We're not just a machine choice. We are going to be the standard of how countertops are made wow. on planet Earth. That's just the beginning. 
This is just the beginning. This is we're going to be the standard. And you want to look into this because it's so much more drastically efficient. If your competition, if you're a fabricator and your competition in your local area is going to be using our technology before you are, it's going to be tough for you to catch up. Anywhere in the US. Anywhere in America. Anywhere in the Canada. We we are right now talking to many, many countries outside of the US. Where, where do you get the most interest outside the US? We're getting a lot out of the Middle East. Oh, interesting. We're getting a lot out of Europe. We're getting a lot out of uh, the Latin countries as well. Eastern European, a lot as well. Um, Australia, oh, wow. New Zealand. How would you ship it to Australia? How do you guys Just the way get everything it assembled gets there. shipped, uh, containers, you know, we ship them from the US. No problem. No, no problem. And, and, this, and the other thing is we're already geared to do service in other languages because there's a lot of multilingual operators in the United States. So we're already geared for Portuguese, Spanish, English. Um, we can easily develop, especially with AI now, how to give service in other languages. So uh, we, we're more than happy to sell all over the world. So I was going to talk about AI, but I guess that's going to be next <laughs> the next podcast because yeah. we got to wrap it up here. Joe, all the best uh, in 2026. I'll see you, you in, in Vegas and all of you. Thank you for the, the time. Ties. Thank you for all the compliments too. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to go in 2026. Thank you for being the... such a gentleman. And if you guys haven't met Joe Alva, Poseidon yet, where do they go to find you? I know it's PoseidonMachinery.com. Uh, yeah, so PoseidonMachinery.com. Uh, we're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. If you just look up Joe, you can look up Poseidon Industries, Poseidon Machines, T-Rex, Joe Alva. We're all over the place. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, LinkedIn. So. And of course, Game of Stones podcast. And Game of Stones podcast as well. Yeah. So I'll be there on one of the episodes. So absolutely looking forward to that. Joe, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you.